What's up there people, Hunter Spoke Riders here and today's video is going to be all about a quick update on the 1999 OBS two-door Chevy Tahoe. Haven't messed with this vehicle in a while, it's been sitting over in the corner for like a few months, but hey, today is the day. And today, it's time to say goodbye to that. My coolant catch tank has seen its better days and it's time to replace it. It looks like it's gonna be a simple install, just two little bolts right there. I'll let you know what size later once I get the tools. But this is what I'll be replacing it with. I got this catch coolant tank off. I got it from rockauto.com. I've had it for a few, several months now. It has been sitting in the box, kind of chilling. Comes with a cap. And this is, let's get on there. Because the old one, yeah, the old one is done. So just a quick little swap. Just a quick little update on the OBS Chevy. Okay, I thought this was a simple, quick two-bolt thing, but it's a little bit more than that. The only reason I took this hose off right here, this is the hose that runs from the bottom of the tank to the top up by the radiator cap. Curiosity got the best of me. I pulled this out right here. This was inside the hose. And it was kind of dirty, so I was like, huh, let me pull this out. I thought I felt something on the inside, but I wasn't sure. It was two half inch bolts. And then I seen this sticking out the hose. So I said, let me pull that out. And then I said, let me pull the whole hose out. Shoot some water through it and see, you know, what's what. I think I'm gonna get it all back together. No problem, shouldn't be an issue. I will have to take this off, a little runoff deal, and put it on a new one. But that's where I'm at with it. Not uh, too difficult of a project, but I did get a little sidetracked. When I pulled the new tank out, I discovered something. I discovered... What this little piece is right here. Because when I pulled this out, when I pulled this hose off the old tank, this was wedged in here like this. I was like, man, what the hell is that? So, look at that old tank. See? Look at the new one. There's a little metal shaft in there. So you don't, I guess, break the plastic or whatever when you tighten it down. So that was stuck into there. So this doesn't have nothing to do with it. So I don't even need this little piece here. So I'm glad I took that out. Okay, so I'm glad I pulled this out right here. Uh, you could do it without pulling. You have to. You have to pull this out. You, you can do this without pulling the holes all the way out the vehicle. But I think I'm just going to do it like this because it makes it does make it a little bit easier. And you know it's good to run some water through this just kind of kind of clean it out. So yeah, learn something new every day. If that gets stuck in your holes when you pull it out, don't be alarmed. It goes to your old crusty tank. But hopefully your tank doesn't look as bad as my tank where the lid was held on with some Gorilla Glue. Alright. I'm going to stick this on the tank. Mount the tank up. And then fish the holes back through the bottom. Back on the radiator. Let me tell you. Something I thought was going to take about 10 minutes is starting to turn into something more. Now, these are the hose clamps that came off of it. And I tried to take this one off, or the other one off the other side, and guess what? I broke it. I broke that top piece of the hose clamp. So I said, oh, no problem. Let me go get, see what I got in the garage, and just put a new hose clamp on it. Well, I'll tell you, after about 15 minutes of searching, why the only thing I came up with were these stupid things here. Fuel injection clamps. And I was like, okay, they'll work. They're not what they're made for, but it'll still work. Guess what? They're too small. They are just, I'm talking about, they are barely too small for me to do what I got to do. So now guess what I get to do? Jump in the truck and go buy some hose clamps. So I tried to stretch this out. Once you stretch it out, and you put the, try to put it on the thing, it's still too damn small. Why can't it never be simple? Why has it always got to be something? 
hose clamps. I used to have a whole bunch of them. Now all I got is these. I don't know. All right, people, I'll be back. Okay, I was just about to go to the, jump in the truck and go to the, somewhere to get some hose clamps, buy some hose clamps. And I remember, I have a huge tub of stuff, of just random crap, bolts, nuts, and a whole bunch of stuff that this is one of the things where I say one day I'm going to separate it and I start, but then I got busy. I never have. It's like one of these days I'm going to separate all this. Well, I invested about 10 more minutes, searched through all this, and I did find some hose clamps. So I think I'm going to use these two right here, ditch the plastic ones, and it kind of saves me a trip from the store. And it's not that, yes, hose clamps are cheap, but I didn't really want to leave because I got other stuff to do. And I know if I go, I'm not going to just buy some hose clamp. I'm going to end up spending money on other stuff too. So in the long run, that little, that little tub of random crap, you know, came in handy. And I tell myself, before I fill this up, I have to separate this. I got it in such a big tub because it's easier to spread out. But random, random uh, tub of bolts and nuts and random car parts and motorcycle parts and metal pieces for the win. Mission accomplished. Out with the old and with the new. Granted, I still got duct tape residue on this hose, but this is just a runoff hose. It don't really hook to nothing. You just, it's like an overflow hose. In case it does get too high, it just kind of runs off onto there. So I'm not worried about that right now. I could probably get another hose, but it ain't that serious. Uh, did put the hose clamp at the bottom. I don't know if you can really see it. It's like right there. Brand new hose clamp there. Got rid of the plastic one here. Now this one's a little bit too big, but you know, it's what I had. So it's all good. Better to be too big than too small. So there you go. Just a quick little update for the OBS two-door Tahoe. All right, people. Hunter Spoke Riders. Hunter Spoke Riders signing out with a brand new coolant catch tank. Rock Auto for the win. All right, thanks for watching Hunter Spoke Riders video. If you're subscribed, make sure you turn your post notifications on because I do not have a set schedule of when I drop videos. I just do it whenever I am motivated to do videos. So sometimes you might get videos once a week. Sometimes you might get videos every day. You just never know. As long as you keep your post notifications on, you get an alert every time I drop a video, and it'll be all good. You won't miss anything. Be on the lookout. New videos will come. Once again, thanks for watching. I'm Spoke Rivers. Signing out.